Westbrook, Norris over to you. Well, Kevin, the Atlanta Hawks, a team that looks to spread the floor with shooting. Coach Mike Budenholzer said, we don't want to just be a three-point shooting team. We want to get to the rim first. By creating that space, we give our guards and our bigs a chance to attack. If the paint is taken away, we'll look for our shooters. Good strategy, Kevin. Coach Bud coming from San Antonio, Doris. The Hawks trying to create that same kind of spacing. Here's Teague. He's got five. He kicks it to Carroll. Let's it go from the wing. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Coach Mike Budenholzer got early consideration for Coach of the Year award honors in Atlanta before a rash of injuries just sidetracked their season, but a promising young head coach, really sharp. Teague dishes to Carroll. Picked by Horford. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. The Hawks have made three of five free throw attempts. Well, pretty good numbers for this club a year ago, Kevin. 78% uh, as a team from the free throw line. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. And the Hawks making a change here. Gallenbear's checked in. A drive by Russell. And he banks in the layup. Russell's got five points so far. Give an assist there, not for the pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed him up and made the layup possible. They've been able to get out to this lead without really getting a very reliable performance out of him from the field. Outside Bryant. We have a step back. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Ouch. Another miss to add to what's been a miserable game for him from the field. Here's Teague. And he gets the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Seven points in the game. And he may be the guy to put this game even farther out of reach. Russell passes to Davis. There's 42 seconds left in the first half of basketball. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Paul Millsap picks one up. Well, Ed Davis, in his fifth season out of North Carolina, he's had to battle for minutes both in Toronto and Memphis, but has produced when he's been on the court. An active, athletic big man. He's a player to watch. Eldon Brands checked in for Atlanta. And Davis with good mobility for his size. Offensively, Clark, he can run in transition, flash to the basket. Mm -hmm. At the other end, he's a good help defender. Yeah, and bit by bit, Kevin, we see him developing his post game as well. He's starting to broaden out that skill set. Still only 25 mm. years old. Come on now. He's got a <laughs> lot left in his development. And it's slammed in by T how you completely rattle an opponent's rhythm. Yeah, you know, such terrific on-the-ball defense to trigger the transition opportunity. And it wasn't just the tough D. It was the exclamation point they put on the fast break with the slam. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. Hawks lead by 16. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Third quarter just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Looking at the game Schroeder's been having, he's got 11 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. Yeah, he's got to take his time behind the arc. And on the floor for Byron Scott as we get into the second half. Salmon's up there with Randall. Then it's Russell. Then there's Davis. And it's Kobe in at the shooting guard. Lakers trail by 16. Salmons for the three. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. 
Selmans got the first basket of the third quarter for the Lakers. Teague kicks to Carroll. Picked by Horford. Carroll dishes to Horford. Passes it to Teague. From about 16. Rebounded by the Lakers. Here's Selmans. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Last season, there were a handful of teams jockeying for that final playoff spot in the East, and the Hawks were right there in the middle of it and ended up snagging the eighth seed and then scared the Pacers in round one. And although the Hawks would end up being the only sub-500 team in the playoffs, they put on quite a show when they got there. Millsap has the open look. Hits the target from 18 feet. Millsap's got eight. Al Russell, he's got five. That's good. That is a very low percentage shot, Kevin, but it's the result they were looking for at the end of the day. Teague kicks to Carroll from outside the arc, and that one's good. He's got five. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Russell again. It's Teague. Right side, Russell unloads from 13. Again, Russell missing. Well, they've really dominated on the glass, and of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know, rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. Here's Horford, and he converts the layup. Horford's got five points so far. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Randall with a screen for Kobe. The three. Second shot opportunity. Horford with the block. That's a two from Korver. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the hit. That's how you do it, the bump and the bucket. The Hawks have missed a few free throws up to this point, shooting 4 of 7 from the foul line tonight. Al Horford, the Dominican big man, won two titles with that great University of Florida team. Actually, back-to-back -back titles in 06 and 07. You really love his skill level. There's not much he can't do. He gets up and down. He's a terrific passer. His mid-range jumper is spot on. Here's Atlanta now. A big stretch here going 10-2. Now the pass to Corp. The offensive rebound. Millsap gets to Corver. Another three for Atlanta. That's like a layup for him. It's just wide open out there. And the Lakers call time here. A lot of big things happened for Kyle Corver last year, but the one that sticks out in my mind is that he was able to tie and then break the record of 90 consecutive games with a made three-pointer. Says a lot about him as a player, his work ethic, and his consistency. The Lakers have gone two of six from the field here in the third. A drive by Russell. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And for Corver last season, his streak ending in 127 games with a made three. And it was his most efficient season, Clark, as far as his score. Well, he was over 90% at the line, and he hit from everywhere on the floor. I mean, an absolute laser from behind that three-point line. You look at his shot chart, and it's um, a big field of green, which is made buckets. Samuel Dallenberg who's checked in for Al Horford. Davis setting the pick for Bryant. That one off the back iron and out. 
you know, he's so confident, sometimes to a fault, and that showed right there. That's a bad shot. Exactly. I mean, that's self-inflicted damage right there. There are a lot better options than what he took. Well, it's just been one of those kind of games for him. Russell passes to Selmans. Kobe dishes to Selmans. Outside, Russell. Lakers passing it around. Knocked away. He dishes it to Kobe. Shot clock at six. Here's Russell. And again, the Lakers no good. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. To the wing on the left. Here's Korver. The second chance effort. That one wide left. This quarter has not been his best. The defense may be starting to affect him a little bit. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Kobe Bryant certainly had a unique childhood, spending time in Italy where his father played professional basketball. Kobe said, once I moved overseas, the game of basketball became my refuge. I developed a passion and relationship with the game. My grandfather used to tape games and mail them to me. It was special just to sit down and watch the game. Gentlemen, over to you. He's always had that passion. Thanks, Doris. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Russell kicks to Randall. The dish to Bryant. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. Very poor shot selection there, guys. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Jeff Teague signed a four-year, $32 million deal with the Hawks going into last season. And with the departures of some of their other star players, they decided to put the ball in his hands to run their more free-flowing offense. And he delivered in a great way. Looking at who's out there now for the Hawks. Eldon Brands checked in for Dallenberg. Mike Scott comes in for Paul Milson. Tabo Cephalosha has checked in for Damari Carroll. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Kyle Corvin. And the Lakers with another miss. And Jeff Teague shooting percentages, Steve, falling quite a bit last season. Yeah, but he compensated by getting to the free throw line about twice as often. You know, and that's part of expanding your game. You're going to see some improvement in some areas and maybe regression in others. But he's got to just continue to work. He, he has a chance to be an excellent point guard in this league. Here's Lynn. And he uses the glass on the layup. Lynn's got his first points in this one. Scott with a screen on Lynn. Shoots off the screen. Baysmore gets the bucket. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Boozer is green on Teague. Offensive rebound. And he drops in the layup off the glass. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula. And it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Brand sets a screen for T. Look oh. out. Watch out. Oh. Boy, I like the setup there. Well done by Brand with the solid pick. And so it's the Lakers with it. Here's Clarkson. Outside, Lynn. Hill is green on Teague. Off the screen. Shot's good by Clarkson. Clarkson's got six. That was an outstanding pick that gave him the room to bury the jump shot. Underrated, but not undervalued. Outside T. The kick out to Scott. Lock at six. No good. So the Lakers will take it the other way. 
Here's Clarkson. Six points for him. Young with no one around. 